In Old Hawaii, the kings of each island, the moi, were referred to as the ali'i ai moku, chief who eats the island. This is because, as moi, they had the right to divide all the lands of the island and redistribute them amongst the people. The word aina, or land, literally means that which feeds. An old olelo no'iau, or proverb, says, he ali'i ka aina, ke kaua ke kanaka. The land is the chief, the man is its servant, reminding everybody that the land feeds us all. In old Hawaii, each moku, or island, was divided into individual ahupua'a, which is a watershed or a valley. Every ahupua'a had a kanohiki who managed the aina for the moi. Every valley, or watershed, had a chief who managed the valley for the king. The Hawaiian system of laws, or kanavai, literally means pertaining to water. If the water flowed in one direction, it was ours. If it flows in the other direction, it is yours, essentially was the rule of old. Ola ikavai, water is life. Moku is a group of ahupua'a that forms a single watershed. It's also used to refer to an entire island. An ahupua'a is an individual valley or a watershed. An ili is a land division within an ahupua'a that is often allocated to a family group. A kuleana is a house site. Today it's often used to mean your area of responsibility, but in old times it specifically was your house site. A lo'i is your taro patch or a group of taro patches. It can also be lo'i uala, which would be a patch of sweet potatoes, etc. Kula would be your dry land farming area. The island of Kauai has five districts or moku. Each one of these contains ahupua. On the north, you have Halelea. On the northeast, you have Ko'olau. On the east, you have Puna. On the southwest, you have Kona. And on the northwest, you have Napali. Now it's time to take a closer look at each one of these moku. First up is the North Shore moku of Halelea. It contains the ahupua'a of Namahana, Kalihivai, Kalihikai, Hanale, Waioli, Waipa, Waikoko, Umahai, Wainiha, and Haena. Let's take a closer look at the ahupua'a of Lumahai. Now let's take a look at the moku of Ko'olau on the northeast. Halelea contains the ahupua of Namahana, Kalihiwai, Kalihikai, Hanale, Waioli, Waipa, Waikoko, Lumahai, Wainiha, and Haena. Let's take a closer look at the ahupua of Anahola. On the east side, we have the moku of Puna. The moku of Puna contains the ahupua of Kipu, Haiku, Niumalu, Nawiliwili, Kalapaki, Hanamaulu, Wailua, Olohenna, Waipoli, Kapa'a, Kelia, and Kamalo Malo'o. Let's take a closer look at the Ahupua'a of Wailua. The entire highlighted area near the coast is called Wailua Nui Ahoanu. This sacred area was reserved for Kauai's ali'i or royalty in old times. This well-watered and fertile ahupua had many taro patches or lo'i extending all the way to the mountains. Now it's time to make our way over to the west side and take a look at Kona, Kauai's largest moku. Kona contains the ahupua of Waimea, Makaveli, 
Hanapepe, Wahiava, Kalaheo, Lava'i, Koloa, Veli Veli, Pa'a, and Maha Ulepu. And now let's take a closer look at the Ahupua'a of Waimea. This large Ahupua'a used to host an impressive population of native Hawaiians. Today it hosts the majority of the hiking trails on Kauai. And now it's finally time to take a look at the Moku of Nepali. Nepali contains the Ahupua'a of Hanakapiai, Hanakoa, Pohakuau, Kalalau, and Hanopu. And here is a closer look at the Ahupua'a of Kalalau. First, you can see the Wonderberg Trail that runs along the Nepali coast and takes you all the way to Kalalau Valley. And now you can see the valley. When you look at Kauai from this perspective, it can be pretty mind-bending to consider just how many people lived on this island before Europeans came in. You gotta have some mad respect for our native Hawaiian culture. 